Hi everyone, today we are going to be looking at a series of videos over on our Patreon page called the Drill of the Week. In these videos, we look at one weapon system and I give you a structured schedule with the number of rounds you should do and all of the exercises and drills that you should do with that weapon system that you can do for that entire week. So we go from double stick, single stick, double knife, single knife, empty hands. Sometimes we touch on some other weapons as well, like the spear, improvised weapons. The aim of this series is to take away some of the guesswork from your training. If you like this video and if you want access to the entire series, we have a whole bunch of these videos, please go and check out our Patreon page. As with all of the other drill of the week, so we are going to start with footwork. Whether you do ranging footwork or whether you do diamond footwork, that's up to you. But we're gonna spend a little time just on footwork. We're gonna keep our hands up in this sort of guard position. And with the knife, at least for now, we want to work in a specific way. We want to have this, what I call a triangle guard. So my hands are up, the tip of my knife and the tip of my middle finger, if I extended them, they would meet a triangle up here. But right now they're just up protecting me and they're gonna stay up the entire time. If I go into Pakal, again, my hands are up. This is a lot easier to imagine. But in Saksa, I want the tip of my knife and the tip of my middle finger to sort of be in the same line. All I'm trying to get used to right now is the concept of keeping my hands up. I don't want to get used to keeping my hands down. I want to get used to keeping my hands up in this guard position, whether in Pakal, or whether in Pakal or in Saksa. We're going to be doing two rounds of just footwork, about three minutes or three and a half minutes. Now, if you are comfortable with your footwork and if you feel like you have a good amount of technical skill with your footwork, then instead of spending two rounds on just footwork, you can go into our basic angles with the single knife with footwork. footwork. Again, it's up to you whether you want to do your ranging footwork or diamond footwork, but we're gonna go angle one, angle two slashes with our footwork. So my hands are up, I'm stepping. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, you can go sideways as well. And then we're gonna work our double step. Again, by now you should be pretty familiar with the way that we do our arranging footwork in the single step variation and the double step variation. Now with single knife, I wanna ensure that I am working both sides. So what I would recommend is that you do one round with just the right hand and one round with just the left hand. These rounds can be three and a half minutes each or if you're familiar again with the way that I like to train, instead of putting a timer, I like to just play some music and I'll go one song on my right hand, one song on my left hand. Also, I would not recommend that you switch grips in the middle of the round. Choose a grip, either Pakal or Saksa that you want to work on and stick to that grip the entire time. Just remember, Pakal, you are thrusting. Saksa, you are slashing with our two first angles, angle one and angle two. Next, we're going to be working on some circular slashes. So again, I'm going to be cutting the hand and the head, the hand and the head. I think we have done, we have done this drill before, but it's a, it's a really good way to really quickly attack that hand, especially when someone's extending towards you or if they're being careless. And as soon as they start pulling the hand back, the attack to the head is open. You can, for now we're gonna go circular, circular, but it can be circular, horizontal or diagonal, circular, thrust, it's really up to you. The idea is to attack the hand and then attack the head. So we're gonna add this to our ranging footwork. Two strikes on each step. So I'm gonna go hand, head, hand, head. Cut the hand, cut the head, cut the hand, cut the head, cut the hand, head, hand, head. Again with a double step, hand, head, hand, head, hand, head, hand, head, hand, head, hand, head. Make sure that there is a difference between when you are cutting the hand and when you are cutting the head. It, this is not where the hand is, the hand is a little bit ahead where the head is, so cut the hand, the level should be different, should be a rotel. You can also change this to a slash and a thrust if you want, so hand, head, or slash and slash. The only thing you want to make sure is you're always coming back to the beginning position, so you can start with this small circular cut the hand from the beginning. We're going to do two rounds of this, one in our right hand, one in our left hand, for three and a half minutes, or one song each. Next we're going to go to the Pakal variation of the same drill. Except in Pakal, we're not going to go circular, circular. We're going to go jab, jab. I'm going to attack the hand, attack the head with a jab. Again, with my ranging footwork. So I'm stepping to the right or diamond footwork, whichever one you want. It's easier to do these drills though with ranging footwork. So I'm going to go low jab, high jab. Or attack the hand, attack the head. Attack the hand, attack the head. Hand, head, 
hand, head, hand, head. Keep in mind that especially when we're jabbing, if I'm attacking something that's down here like the hand, I want my other hand to be protecting my face. So hand, and now when I'm attacking the head, all of this is open, so I want to keep my hand, tuck my hand underneath to protect that. So I'm going hand, head, hand, head, hand, head. Look at my live hand, how it changes position as well. We're going to be going two sets, one on my right hand, one on my left hand. Again, there should be a difference between the hand and the head. We're not attacking the groin here or the belly. You're attacking the hand. You're imagining your opponent has their knife like this. And you're looking to attack the hand and then when they may move the hand or they might get hit in the hand, immediately I'm following it up with a strike to the head. The last drill for the day is going to be a thrust and slash drill. So we have again, we have done this before. I'm going to go low thrust. Once I reach center line, I'm going to come out with a slash. Then I'm going to go medium thrust, twist, slash out. And then a high thrust. And I'm going to slash right back down to the beginning by my hip. So I'm going to go low thrust, slash out, low th uh, medium thrust, slash on the way out. So the slash is not a slash this way. The idea is once I have penetrated with a knife, I'm going to twist it to increase the size of the wound. And then as I'm coming out now, the edge is going to cut and make the wound a little bit bigger. It just looks like a slashing motion, which is why we're calling it a slashing mo motion. So thrust low, slash out, thrust, slash, your other hand goes out. I'm going to thrust across horizontal. And now this is the proper slash all the way down to my hip. So I'm going to step out, thrust, slash, thrust, slash, thrust, slash down, other direction, thrust, slash, thrust and 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 slash. In all four directions or six directions that we do with our ranging footwork. To keep things easier, if it's getting a little bit confusing for you about the, the targets, because this is the groin, that's the armpit, that's the neck. If you're struggling with that, just imagine all the attacks are center line. Forget about the armpit or, or, or any other target. Just It's a low attack to center line, slashing our way out. Medium attack to center line, slashing our way out. High attack to cross center line, slashing our, our way all the way back down. We're going to do two sets. One set on our right hand, one set on our left hand of three and a half minutes or two songs each. Lastly, like we normally always finish, we're going to finish with some flow. Now try and, again, like I normally say, try and work the things that we have worked today. So thrust and slash, thrust and slash, thrust, slash down, slash, slash, angle one, angle two. You want to switch to pakal, low jab, high jab, low jab, high jab, angle one, angle two, angle one, angle two. Moving back to saksa, you can switch hands, low thrust, medium thrust, high thrust, slash down, slash, slash, angle one, angle two, switch hands, bang, bang. Switch hands. So you can really play around with it. One thing that you can do if you're feeling like I am not focusing on what you have done in Pakal enough, you can go right hand Pakal, left hand Saksa, or right hand Saksa, left hand Pakal. So a simple way of doing that is I am slashing with what I began with, then I go to the next one. Then when I come across to this side, I'm going to switch to Pakal and then work all of the things I worked with Pakal on my left side. So low jab, high jab, angle one, angle two. And then when I come back to my right hand, I go back to all the things I worked in Saksa on this side. So that way, I'm making sure that I'm still getting all my repetitions in. I'm going to be doing two sets of this. First set, my right hand might have uh, Saksa and my left hand might have Pakal. And in the next set, my left hand might have Saksa and my right hand has Pakal. So I get to drill everything that I've done on both hands in both grips. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video.